infrastructure surge with numerous large scale projects transforming the island nation's landscape. During our insightful webinar held on the 24th of January, esteemed experts shed light on these initiatives, leaving us curious about their potential impact and investment opportunities in the future. Let's listen to what Dr. Anil Priyanka Badhavithana, Senior Consultant at the Research Intelligence Unit, had to say about this. Tsunami, uh, Maldives entered an era of urbanization where there was huge in-migration uh, from islands to the central region, uh, Mali region. And of course, the biggest uh, uh, catalyst uh, for development was Ulumale, now which is in the third phase now. And we are talking about another Rasmali, which is another, you know, urban development. So urbanization uh, actually happened in a way uh, that nobody expected. Uh, because after after tsunami of 2004, uh, people felt that it is better to be in the Mali region, which was the least affected affected out of uh, all the atolls. So the biggest challenge comes from uh, housing, uh, because right now uh, the current government's policy uh, there is a need for about 113,000 units, which is a deficit of around 90,000 housing units are needed in Mali region. Right. So 65,000 is going to be placed in trust market. So the whole trust, uh, the expats, uh, I mean the labor force, they need about 260,000 labor force. And also the ups and downs in, in the growth. Some Sometimes you get to a growth rate of, I think it, it went uh, ridiculous, like 27% or something like that. And then it comes down to 12%. The reason is like when you, make, when you build a bridge or when you develop an infra infrastructure project, right? the growth rate will climb and then it can't come down. So we don't know what the stable growth rate would be in the Maldives. Uh, you know, that is yet to be seen. 